Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Gunpla Garage coming at you with a new video where today we're going to be taking a look at the RX-78 E Gundam EX version Requiem for Vengeance. Say that 10 times fast. This is high grade 255. This and the Zaku 2 F-Type Solari are our first high grade Universal Century kits that we've gotten in quite a long time. The last time we got a high grade release from the Universal Century was 2021 with 241, the Zaku 2 regular type revive version. So it's been quite a while since we've actually got a high grade Universal Century kit that's from the numbered HG line. So this is high grade Gundam Requiem for Vengeance, technically still numbered as part of the HGUC line. And as we can see here, it has the yellow square, meaning it's part of the one year war continuity. Just some little factoids there for you. So without further ado, we're gonna put the camera up. I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna go down the runners in alphabetical order. Starting off, we're going to take a look at the A runner, which is in this pretty lightish gray. It's a gray, but it's pretty fairly close to white. And this Gundam is pretty heavily armed with a ton of weapons. So here we have the two halves for the Gatling gun that's on the shoulder. And then here we have this super detailed vent here. I think that's for the back, but I'm not necessarily sure. And then we have all these different pieces that I'm not going to guess on. I'm just going to move the camera over them real quick so you can get a glance. I believe most of this is going to be for chest and outer armor areas up in the torso. Like this is the center torso piece. And then this is more than likely the back. And then the upper collarbone type areas. Here we have the hands here. So we have a shooting hand, a closed fist hand. I believe this is a waist joint there. And then framing for the gun. Big piece of the shield here. The two half shells of the head. The front face area of the head. The V fin, the forehead type piece. This will be side skirting, left and right side skirting, front and back, and then probably front armor for the legs. All around a very, very detailed runner. There are tons of surface detail panel lines here throughout this kit. So like the Zaku 2 F-Type Solari version, this is something that you're going to want to use a Portite panel liner on. So if you use a pen or something else, you'll be here for quite a while. Tons of panel lines on here. Gonna be super duper detailed once it's done. And again, this is another realistic looking design that's going to beg for weathering. So this might even be weathered for me out of the box. Here we have two B runners in a more tannish color type of gray. It's still gray, but it's got a little bit of a tan flare to it, just ever so slightly to differentiate it from the colors of runner A. And this is all going to be shared joint pieces. So we have the top of the foot here and probably something for the knee, the ankle armor, and then pieces for the arms throughout because the arms are rather lanky and odd and have these weird segmented armor pieces on top of its sort of inner framing, if that makes sense. A very well detailed runner, even these smaller pieces like up here, which is probably like a, a bicep joint or something such as that is super detailed. Like this tiny piece here has a ton of surface detailing on it. We even have this little area down there. Just a lot of ton of great detail baked into the armor pieces of this kit. Here we have the C runner. This is the lone C runner. And this is in a darkish type of Navy battleship gray type color. And this is going to be more armor pieces. So this is the upper calf area up here. And then we have the thigh armor here. And again, swimming in detail, like we have these little piston details here. 
on the back of the calf. Even this area here, we have some panel lines within, even though it gets covered, and some good panel lines here on the calf. Here we have what appears to be framing for the head, and then more armor separation pieces for the torso. So this is the bottom of the chest area, and then the sides of the chest area to like the side of the waist. We have the tops of the hands here, probably the cufflinks for the hands, and then just more armor separation pieces, all with great surface detailing throughout. Here we have the one D runner, and it's primarily in this type of charcoal gray. We saw there's charcoal gray on the Zaku F type Solari version, and we see a ton of detailing here on this back of the shield. It's absolutely drowning in detail. And then what appears to be inner framing pieces for the chest. So I did read, a little spoilery here, I did read online that this kit does have somewhat of a pseudo inner frame. And I think that's primarily because the arms are very, the arms are very lanky and are primarily inner frame throughout with the extra armor bits kind of put on the side of it. So you have inner frame for the lower leg here, and then the upper thigh here. Here we have a torso section, and we see this big piping in here. That looks fantastic. So if you really wanted to, you could separate all this truss framing, all this detail with paint if you wanted to, all this detailing here on the lower frame of the waist, and then all this detail here on the bottom of the foot with this bizarre toe joint that not a lot of people are vibing with. And then up here, I know we glazed over it, but we have some pieces here for the Gatling gun and other armaments. Another really impressive runner. This shield piece is gonna be one of the only pieces here that has both inner and outer details. Most of these are pieces such as this where it's pegs and no inner details on the flip side. Here we have two E runners in the same type of charcoal gray that we saw on runner D. And this is all gonna be inner framing pieces, so I'm not gonna guess on all these parts. I'll just go over them quickly so you can take a look at these parts. But there are a ton of great details here. Lots of panel lines there. I'm gonna assume that's a type of knee joint. This piece here, probably a bicep piece, has a ton of great detailing on it. All these pieces have just fantastic detailing on it. And there's really no business having this much detail because these are mostly just inner joint pieces that you'll barely ever see. It's like the inner bicep joint there. Everything just looks fantastic. Definitely another very impressive runner. This is the last runner. This is the F1 runner, and this is all in a scarlet red. And we have the two feet pieces here, the top of the feet before the gray. So this is for the top of the shield. I know that this anchor type of logo is a sticker. And then we have the eyes and the chin piece. And I believe the jewel, so to speak, for the V-fin. And then a collar piece, probably for the chest and probably more chest areas or the shield, either one. Uh, that's the only guess I'll have on those. So another impressive runner, small. Not a ton of pieces, lots of really good detail here on this whole kit throughout, and there is no undergating on this kit either. We do have a standard Beam Saber Runner. Nothing to write home about, you probably have two million of these. Here we have real grade type stickers, and this is added detail. So we have types of markings here to add red, scarlet red to the kit and then some different other small gray areas. This will be interesting to put on for sure, but I may wait for water slide decals because that will look better applied than these will, but it is still cool that on a high grade kit, we have this included. So if you're a straight out of the box builder, you don't like water slide decals, you have this here and you can make this as anime accurate as possible with these stickers. And here we have a small sheet of color correcting stickers. We have the eye pieces here. We have three eye pieces. Looks like for a different zoom focal points on the eyes, the main camera sensor, 
and then the color separated area for that anchor, and then the sensor for the beam rifle. So eight runners total make up the E Gundam EX Requiem for Vengeance version. I keep saying that so much, <laughs> it's crazy. Um, we do have an F2 runner here, which I didn't forget about. It just got stuck inside of the poly bag because it's rubber. It's a little rubbery ammo belt for the Gatling gun. And there are panel lines on this. I have no idea how to panel line this. I feel like a pen's just gonna rub off and I, <laughs> I don't know, I'll probably clip some of this runner off a little bit and see what the type of pore type does to it, see if it melts it before I panel line it, or I may just leave it as is. So despite having one runner more than the Zaku, there are two copy paste runners that are not full size runners, if you will, the E runner and the B runner is copy pasted. I'm excited to build both these kits. I can't really say which one I'm more excited for. I think they both look great and I think they both service that World War II type of real tank type of design. This looks like an actual foreboding, big, like almost 1940s, bulky robot. Like if we had that technology in the 40s, this is what it would probably look like. Just a big, bulky war machine. And because I like military machines quite a bit, this really strikes a big chord with me. This isn't what I want my Zakus and my Gundams to look like full time, but this is a fun what if type of scenario. I'm very excited that someone at Target decided to get this to me a little early. Please be nice to your Target people if you go out looking for these kits. If they're not gonna go in the back and get them for you, try a different Target. And that's how it's gonna have to be until these release officially on 10 20 2024 here in the states but you might l get lucky at your own local target thank you so much for watching this video your likes your comments and your subscriptions mean an absolute ton to me i hope to see you in the next video where hopefully we're actually reviewing a kit and not just unboxing it i just really wanted to get these kits unboxed and on camera for you guys so you could take a look at what's coming in any case stay safe have fun and happy building.